Hey, welcome back guys to my Red Dead News series, keeping you guys up to date with all of the latest news and updates. Today's video is going to be a real quick one. I'm going to be showing you how you can get your hands on 10 free gold bars in Red Dead Online from just basically a couple of minutes work. So just a couple of days ago, Rockstar added a new incentive for adding two-step verification to your Rockstar Social Club account. I'll be showing you how to do this and how it works in just a moment. But first, let's go over the incentives or the rewards for adding this to your account. First of all, you're going to get $500,000 in your GTA Online account, 10 gold bars in your Red Dead Online beta account, and also additional future benefits in both GTA Online and in the Red Dead Online beta. So it's going to be real interesting to see what other incentives they add for just setting up two-step verification on your account. So adding two-step verification to your social club account basically just means every time you log into your Rockstar social page, it's going to send a verification to your mobile phone, meaning that if anyone does manage to find out what your password is or try to hack you, they're not going to be able to access your account because they won't have your mobile phone. And you will also be aware if someone is accessing your social club account without your knowledge because it's going to start sending verification text to your mobile phone and you're going to be aware of anyone else trying to access your account. I think Rockstar support have probably been inundated with lots of people getting their social club accounts stolen or hacked or even people selling their social club accounts and just have a big market of just people selling and trading their social club accounts and it probably uses up a lot of their Rockstar support resources, you know, their time and their money paying these support agents to manage this. So they're basically just adding a big incentive for people to have this active on their accounts and try and cut down the hijacking of Rockstar Social Club accounts. So if you want to set up two-step verification to your account, it's only going to take a couple of minutes. I'll have a link to Rockstar Social Club in the description of this video. Otherwise, you can just Google it and do it from there. You basically just log into your Social Club account, click on Account Settings, and there'll be a tab for two-step verification. And from here, it'll give you a QR code that you scan on your mobile device, and it'll then send a code to your device every time you want to sign in. Now I have seen some people online say they don't want to add two-step verification to their social club account because they don't want to have to do this hassle every time they log in. They don't want to have to get the verification code sent to their mobile phone every time you log in. However, how often do you guys really log into your social club account? To be honest, I don't really log into mine all that much, so it's not really going to impact me much on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not going to ask you to verify every time you're playing Red Dead Online. It's only when you're logging into your social club account. I think the only times I really log in my social club account is when I want to actually submit feedback to Rockstar or maybe rarely when I want to check my status on an achievement I'm trying to unlock and I want to see my progress on it or something like that. But it's really not all that often I'm actually logging in my social club account. So yeah guys, I'd totally recommend taking a couple of minutes to get this set up on your account and you get some nice rewards in both GTA Online and Red Dead Online as well as some interesting future benefits we might get for having this active. I believe you should get your in-game rewards quite quickly. I actually got my 10 gold bars over the weekend and I'm definitely going to be saving mine for a future update. And I'd also recommend to you guys that you should always save your gold bars don't use your gold bars when you could otherwise be using normal in-game money that you can make through playing showdown or hunting and selling animals because in future updates they might also have some content or properties or high-end horses or high-end weapons locked behind gold bars and if you've been spending your gold bars and don't have them saved up it might mean that the only way to access those premium items is to actually use real life money to purchase gold bars so I'd also always recommend having a nice stockpile of gold bars saved on your account. If this video did help you guys out, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a few seconds to leave it a like, really help support the channel, and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any future breaking updates. Have a great day guys, and I'll see you in the next video.